Public toilets are as essential as street lights, roads and other social amenities, but are not readily available. And even when they are available, they are not safe to use and do not provide nearly as much comfort or privacy for girls, women and persons with disabilities as they should. Access to safe and comfortable public toilets in motor packs that women, girls and persons with disabilities can use with dignity and without concern is a necessity, yet this seemingly basic service does not cater to their needs. According to the 2021 Water Sanitation and Hygiene National Outcome Routine Mapping Survey, only 20% of public places such as markets and motor parks have basic sanitation services with no improved toilet facilities that are accessible to persons with disabilities. Men and women, boys and girls have different sanitation needs. It's not just a question of the availability of toilets to use in public spaces, but mainly about how safe, convenient these facilities are and if they preserve the dignity of women, girls and people with disabilities who use them. Women and girls should have access to comfortable and hygienically clean toilets at all times. There is also a great need for privacy, which not only because of activities such as menstruation, but also safety from sexual harassment, dignity from being exposed, comfort in terms of hygienically clean toilets, and also how comfortable these facilities are for them in terms of design. Comparably, Persons with disabilities experience challenges when using public toilets as they are robbed of their independence and dignity because of the inaccessibility of these facilities. The issues there is because the, there is no difference bef between the men and the women and most of women they don't like to go there because the men are too much there. So some women doesn't patronize the place. Except is the person in most ways. Uh, we can't use public toilet, I can say, because there are a lot of steps. Because I went to the Moodle market to assess a female toilet, so-called female toilet, where the security man is a man, the owner of the toilet is a man. It's near a mechanic shop where men are busy doing their things. When I enter the veranda, it's narrowed, I can't access the door, so I can't use it independently. I'm about to go and they for person with disabilities, you can contract a disease there. Because the flesh is inaccessible, like for wheelchair user, so they are crawling at the floor of the toilet. Water Aid Nigeria, with support from Water Aid Australia and Who Gives a Crap, is working with the Bochi State Government to generate evidence from research, including user feedback on public toilets in motor parks and marketplaces to influence the review of public toilet designs in the state. Water Aid is specifically working with Bochi State Environmental Protection Agency, Ministry of Environment, Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency, to ensure women, girls and persons with disabilities can access and use toilets in motor parks with dignity and without concern. The goal is to influence the Bolton State Government to provide public toilet facilities in motor parks and markets that women, girls and people with disabilities can access 
and news with dignity and without concerns using evidence from research. When we did the assessment, some of the findings from the assessment, right, revealed that some toilets have only one entrance for men and women. The issues around privacy, the issues around safety of the women when using these toilets are some of the things that came up. And one of the key things that came up is that either male toilets are too close to female toilets, and some of them with maybe poorly constructed roofs or poor windows that women shared concerns about privacy that, let me use one of the words, that a man could jump and see them in the toilet. So from these designs, we have semi-detached designs that have both male and female toilets together, but they are completely separated that, and with different entrances that when a woman is on the other side and a man is here, they both would not know what is happening in the other end. Even before the uptake of the project, there is this uh, collaboration was there. They got a lot of information from the SEPA. So at points where we came in, we went for enumeration at the LGA level to ascertain what is on ground. We were able to discover that people living with disability are being opted out. They don't feel comfortable. They can't use the public toilet. So that is where it generated all this process, where a new model has been developed in order to suit every, the female, the girls, and people with disability. The general assumption when female-friendly toilet is mentioned is that they are often a whole new model of toilets designed for women alone. But this is far removed from the case as male sanitation needs can be met with toilets that promote safety, inclusion, dignity, and are comfortable to use for everyone. The sanitation needs of women in mortal parks and markets on the flip side cannot be met by the available public toilets, which can be used conveniently by men. And these invariably indicate that there is a flaw in the design of the available public toilets. Therefore, solving the public sanitation problem of women, girls and persons with disabilities will not only provide safe, equitable and dignified public toilets for these albeit unsatisfied users, but also be inclusive as it caters for the sanitation needs of men as well. Evidence was collected from an assessment which included user feedback on public toilets in motor parks and markets provided by the Bochi State Environmental Protection Agency and used to influence the review of public toilet designs in Bochi State. The Bochi State Urban Planning and Development Board in their role of approving building designs was instrumental in approving the prototype design. From what I saw, they took into consideration all those uh, contributions we made and inputs, like the issue of um, provision for uh, menstrual hygiene management was included. Basipa the Ruasa the water execute who current wireman the kai a program the Mikezua Harnima ina the Ra in Chiwa, then Yizaman and Tedashi, then Wara Pangara Mata Daban, Pangara Mada Daban. There is a lot of facilities based on that design that can help us to use a public toilet uh, independently. That's what I'm very happy because we were involved since from day one. As a key partner to what I uh, we've been part of all the process that has to do with coming up with the idea together. We do mobilization with, with PASEPA. During the implementation of the project, a critical accessibility and safety audit in 53 toilets across motor parks and markets revealed significant gaps. There was a lack of separate compartments for women absence of menstrual hygiene facilities, accessibility for persons with disabilities, and gender-neutral entrances. The user-centered design in the approach, that is the methodology we use in this assessment, that is to get from their own perspective, right? Uh, what are the challenges? That was why we interviewed all those different people. And then also, if they want to see a toilet that is inclusive, what should it be? So that was what came out in the recommendations. 
We conducted the assessment in six local governments, in Shira, in Misau, in Alkaleri, in Ningi, in Bauchi LGA here and Katagum. So with the feedback and the findings from the assessment, another consultant was engaged with a technical person to work with technical experts from the government agencies like the Urban Development Board, like Basepa, like Ruasa, and so on, to come up with designs of public toilets for the state based on these findings and what the users are saying. With the validation of a groundbreaking toilet design, one that is crafted to be both female friendly and accessible to people with disabilities, the picture of a reimagined restroom experience in motor parks and public places is clearer than ever. And with the thoughtful features that are tailored to the needs of girls, women, and people with disabilities, this design is in simple terms, a model of inclusivity that champions innovation and accessibility seamlessly. Using their own observations that they give, we went and develop on the model so that they will see it kind of physical. It will be more real than drawing. All the women have agreed on the final result of the model and they're very okay with it. We can see the infant, uh, even prior to the construction of the toilet, that people will be happy to have that. First of all, uh, it will provide convenience you know, for the general public that meet up with their demand. Uh, secondly, uh, we are targeting to have all our 20 local government areas in Mauchi State, including the urban centers, to be open duplication pre. So you cannot achieve that without providing a public toilet that meets up with the public, the, the public demand. With the coming of this uh, prototype program, we are encouraged. And being the chairman uh, of the TBOs, I will now move further to encourage most of our colleagues to build such a facility. To come with this initiative of good toilet among our people, we thank the government and all the stakeholders participated in the process. We are going to encourage the government to do it, and we are going to participate in safeguarding it. Through collaborative efforts, Water aids vision to influence the transformation of public toilets into inclusive, dignified spaces for everyone in Bauchi State. And in the nearest future, the other states of the Federation is taking shape.